Sama, sama, go! Sama, go! Sama, sama, go! Da, 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 da. Well, morning, fellas. Welcome back to another Villa on Tour video today. We are already on the beach of Bournemouth. Um, I forgot to do the intro this morning, but we're here. This is probably the nicest place I've ever been to go and watch a game of football. It's absolutely lovely. We're just Very on the nice. beach, just by the pier. Absolutely beautiful. Massive game today. He's positive for once. For once in Absolute life. scene. When we seen the fixtures come out, I was just saying to these lot, and you see Brighton, Bournemouth, Southampton consecutively away in the middle of January, you think it's going to be wet, cold, windy, rainy. It's, it's about 12 degrees. 13 degrees. It's Beautiful. sunny, and there's a lot of people around. So exactly. You know it's very, very it's nice. Not bad. Um, That's all. Sunny, it's a massive game today, it's a six-pointer. Um, Bournemouth not been the best in the last few weeks. I think their last game in the Premier League was a 3-1 win against Brighton. Which is not ideal, but we've been flying in the last few weeks. Beat Watford in the last minute, beat Leicester to get to Wembley in the last minute. Absolutely class, so it's a massive game today. I'm unusually confident though, which is a little bit dangerous. Um, massive game, it's a, it's a new ground off the 92 as well. Never been to Bournemouth before, looking forward to it. Um, quick shout out to One Football as well. Transfer deadline day was yesterday, we signed Borja Baston which uh, it's not overwhelming, but it's sensible. Um, so if you do want to check out any January transfer news or fixture news or dates or anything like that, check out OneFootball. Top link in the description, free as always. Download OneFootball. But we're on the beach at the moment. Uh, without further ado, I mean, you'll get the coach content before this, but off to the ground, massive game, up the villa. Are you negative? No. Oh, wow, people, look at this, he's not negative. I think we'll win. But the last time I said we'd win... Did we lose? 3-1 to Southampton. Oh, no. Um, at least you're positive for once. Yeah. I think we'll give a real good go today. Bournemouth for not great. I know they beat Brighton the other week, but I've took a couple of Brighton fans I know were saying Bournemouth weren't great, they were just dreadful. Yeah. Um, We've got to win today. You'd like to think if we win today, it's a bit daylight. If we lose today, uh, it's still like a cheat. What's going on here? But obviously, you've got, you've got to keep one eye on the Brighton game as well to see what's going on there. Big fixtures today. Big fixtures. <laughs> Positive today. though. Positive. Yeah, Come on. We're in Bournemouth. There's, oh, yeah. there's, there's no there's no one about. No, um, I've seen it, we've been in the pub, we've seen a few villa lads, but Bournemouth is quite nice, isn't it? I mean, it's quite a posh it area is. of the world. But yeah, uh, we're going to win. Nice. I think we are. You know, my prediction is going to be a 1 0 win today. You know? I think we're going to have a strong defensive performance and we're going to nick one on the counter. 1 0 win. I'll take that. you got to take it, you got to take it. Unchanged. Unchanged. No, I'm, I'm happy with that. Really starts to matter. Midfield, especially away from home, you take it. With the momentum that we've got, we've still got uh, Trez on the bench that can run around. Lansbury, Horahan, and Cat Davis will come on, hold something up. Take it's it. It's unchanged. You yeah. can't. You can't complain. Can't that, not at all. The only change, is, sorry, is Brainer in goal. Yeah, standard. Um, Love that.
They're checking for offside here. Such a poor goal. If that's offside, that's what matters. Art's goal, brilliant, cheers. Decision goal. We haven't challenged too much when it comes to the chances from Grealish, but we haven't had too many clear cut chances. Simon's just irritates me. It's like we're not, we haven't been that bad. Everton too soon. West Ham are winning. I just don't get Villa's not even. I don't see us getting back in. We can't afford to lose this game. We can't. All we can hope for is a draw. Nothing for us. Come on, fella, please. <laughs> please. Who is it? Who is it? Someone's been sent off here. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. But someone's got off. Have they? Lerma. Good midfielder, he's gone. Please. result we wanted um that is a oh, the, look, the, the bottom sort of six teams or five teams five six teams it's so tight at the moment the results to be fair went our way today brighton and west ham was a massive game west ham threw it away and they drew which is kind of good um for us watford lost in the ma last minute which again is good for us um which is just annoying that we couldn't capitalize on it and bournemouth again go above us today so i think we're 17th now west ham drop into it it's so tight, like I said, and these games... Oh, I just thought, right, we've got to Wembley in the week. You know, it's positive. We beat Watford in the last minute, um, you know, a week and a half ago. And I just thought, you know, we'd see, you know, keep that going today. Keep the momentum, but... It was just really flat. I think the away end, the atmosphere was dreadful. I know there's only like 1,300 people there because um, the allocation is tiny, but still the atmosphere was flat in the away end. Chanting was minimal. I mean, to be fair, the players gave us nothing at all to feed off, um, so you can't really complain. It was just really flat. We didn't. I don't remember their keeper having to make too many massive saves. Um, Rain had a couple of issues. I haven't seen the, the match um, back yet. I think the Bournemouth girls were down the other end, so I haven't actually like, properly seen them, but they look sloppy. I think both of them were from set pieces, which again, sloppy. 2 0 at half time. So if it was 1 0, you'd probably you know be a little bit more positive at half time, but 2 0, not good at all. I think the most you probably could have hoped for was a point at that point. Um, we got the goal in the end. I think there was 20 minutes left. Samata scored, which is brilliant. Um, I thought he was quiet in the first half, but the second half he came alive a bit. Um, that's our first headed goal of the season, which is just mental, by the way. Um, Keenan Davis came on as well. I love Keenan Davis. He's brilliant. He bullied players. He looked really physical. Two up top as well, Samata and Davis. Is that the way forward? Not sure, but I like the look of that. Oh, guys, he was so poised. He just looks lost a lot of the game all the time and it's just frustrating. Again, all of it was going through Grealish. Grealish, you could tell, looked massively frustrated today. Defensively, we weren't brilliant. I know Conster had to go off at half-time. He might be injured. Engels had to come on. But then, you know, with no Conster, we've literally got no substitute defenders now, which is a bit weird, you know, letting James Chester go yesterday. But, 
Oh, our next game's Tottenham. We've got a week off now. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the Max on Tour channel, we've got four neutral games before the next Villa game. So we're going all over the place. So subscribe. Ugh. Subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. There's a lot of content going on over there. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do that. Leave a like on the video if you somehow have enjoyed it. I mean, it was a day out by the beach. I had a brilliant day before we even got to the ground. So there you go. Apologies for this outro being a bit long. I've waffled on. On to Tottenham in a couple of weeks. Leave your thoughts in the comments, etc, etc. Of the villa. <laughs>